Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So I'm sure you heard about the 8.0 in Alaska that happened on June 23rd. Um, right here. Originally it was an 8.0, then they downgraded it to a 7.9. And it happened within our watch period. Actually, it, it it's occurred within a cluster of quakes. And that cluster started on June 14th. You can see right here. Um, this one right here was May 31st. And then in June, we had this cluster that started right here. Six, the 6.4, that was the one that occurred at 11.11. Then we had this one on the 19th. And then we had a bunch right here on June 23rd. All of these here occurred on June 23rd. And then we had an 8-pointer within that cluster. So, um... Again, this eight pointer occurred during our watch period. Started right that cluster started right on the on the exact date that we were looking at. And there was also this six point nine right here on the twenty third. It wasn't on that other chart. Um so you can see here's the six point five that started it on June fourteenth. And then um, we also had, you know, the 408 days right here. And right in the middle of that, our eight-pointer occurred. But I have to say, I really don't understand why, which I'll get into in a minute. But, um, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't understand why these things keep happening on our watch dates is what I mean. Because it's, it's not the same thing that was occurring back here. It's, it's something different now and I'm not sure what but anyway you can see the Russia 8.3 that happened in May of 2013 um, this quake right here this our 7.9 this year occurred 395 days after that so um, we had a 377, approximately 377 day cycle um, that was occurring back here in between these axis shifts that were occurring. There, so far, there have only been three axis shifts that I know of. Um, but then it moved up to 397 days between this event and the 8.6 and 8.2 that happened in 2012. But then after that, it's just, I, I'm not sure what's going on because the 8.3 in Russia, 408 days later, not really that rare. Um, I mean, we have eight point quakes all the time, you know, a couple times a year, um, usually. And then, you know, this 8.0 that just happened 395 days later, um, again, I mean, it's, it's not that rare to have an 8.0 quake I, well I mean it's it's significant but it's it happens a couple times a year but the fact that it's again it occurred during our watch period I, I mean I don't maybe you guys can figure it out because I'm I, I don't know what's happening here um, and and I don't know if there's going to be something else 408 days after um, this quake my guess is this eight pointer right here is the quake that we were looking for um but I mean like I said I don't know because I I don't understand um what causes the quakes so I'm not even going to try to guess but what we're going to do in this video is we're going to just look at all the eight pointers from 2004 until 2014 and we're just going to chart them so this right here is the June 23rd quake. It occurred when Earth was in this position right here. So we're just going to chart that right here so we can keep track of everything back to 2004. We're just going to put the year over here so 2014 is going to be in red. Um, and, um, you know, you might want to pay attention to the position of the gas giants in the solar system. I personally did not find a connection between the positions of the planets and the quakes. I, I did not find one. Um, so I know there are a lot of people out there that say there is a connection, 
if if you happen to know what the logic is behind that please let me know because I don't see it I, I do not see evidence for that I have not seen evidence for that but I haven't really looked into it that closely yet either so I, I mean I could be wrong but this is just in case you want to you know look into that so I highlighted the seven pointers everything over a seven pointer but like I said we're just going to chart the eight pointers so there was another one in 2014 on April 1st which is right here so we had an 8.2 on that day so we're going to put that on our chart as well also 2014 then um and that i mean i did kind of wonder about that one because i noticed that it was that earth was exactly between jupiter and saturn um so i don't know just an observation again i don't think i didn't see any evidence though that that's what causes the quakes because all the other times that earth passes between there it's, it doesn't seem to we don't have the same event so either there are multiple factors going on that I'm just unaware of or it, there's just nothing to it at all I, 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 I don't know but again if you know more about that let me know I haven't really looked into it that much so we can go back through um, through 2014 now we can start 2013 you can see I highlighted all the everything over 7.0 this is the USGS and we had an 8.3 on May 24th in 2013 right here. So an 8.3 right there. We'll put that on our chart. That's 2013. And then some more seven pointers in 2013. And we had another 8.0 on February 6th in 2013 so right here an 8.0 so we'll put that on our chart as well so we had two eight pointers in 2014 so far and two in 2013 and then this is the list from USGS it's all the eight plus quakes back to like 1900 so we're just gonna move backward so we're gonna look at 2012 our next eight pointer occurred on April 11th so right here we actually had two we had the 8.6 and the 8.2 which was a rare event so we'll put that on our chart and then before that we had the Japan quake on 3.11.11 right here and that was actually an axis shift so that was a 9.0 we'll put that on our chart and then in 2010, we had the February 27th quake, which was an 8.8. .8. That was also an axis shift. So that's right here, an 8.8. .8. Put that on the chart. And then in 2009, we had an 8.1 .1 on September 29th, right here, an 8.1. .1. So that goes on our chart. And then in 2007 we had four eight plus quakes we had an 8.5 on september 12th right here so an 8.5 on september 12th put that on our chart and then we had an 8.0 on august 15th right here so an 8.0 goes right there and then we had an 8.1 on April 1st, 2007, right here. An 8.1. We'll put that on our chart right here. And then there was also an 8.1 on January 13th in, 27, in 2007. So I'm not sure what's going on there. January 13th, an 8.1 right there. So there were four in 2007, one in 2009, one in 2010, one in 2011, two in 2012 on the same day, 
two in 2013 and two in 2014. Okay, so we're also going to look at 2006. We had um, an 8.3 on November 15th. So right here, an 8.3. I'll put it right there. Then also that same year, we had an 8.0 on May 3rd. Right here, an 8.0. Put that on our chart. And then in 2005, we had an 8.6 on March 28th, which is right here. 8.6. It does seem like we have a lot in this area, though. And then in 2004, we had a 9.1 on December 26th. That was an axis shift as well, right here. So 9.1, and then a couple days before that, on December 23rd, an 8.1 right here. So the axis shifts, there were three of them that I know of. The first one, um, or the most recent one, was the Japan quake right here. And there was also an axis shift the year before that in 2010 with the Chile quake. And then the axis shift that occurred in December of 2004. So those are the only, as far as I know, those are the only axis shifts that have occurred. So that's where this chart started from. These are the axis shifts right here. This one, this one, this one. Um, but like I said, I don't know what's happening at this point because, you know, it's, it seemed to be making sense here in 2011 and even in 2012, but at this point, I, I don't even know why this quake occurred during our watch period. I, I can't explain it, but it did. I mean, that is just, if, if you can understand what's going on here, then please let us know because um, it's just bizarre, but it did happen during our watch period. In fact, the cluster started on the exact day we were watching, so... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, give you that update. And again, I'm not saying something's going to happen here. I'm just pointing out that it's 408 days after this. So this, this eight pointer that occurred right here, 395 days after this Russia quake, that may actually be, um, the eight pointer that we were, I guess, looking for. I, 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 maybe. Again, it was 377 days back here, then it went to 397, then it went to 408. Now it seems to have gone back to 395. But like I said, they're just happening all over the place. Just all in every part of the solar system. There's not, I, I don't see any definite pattern here. And if there is something having to do with the positions of Jupiter and Saturn and all of that, I, I tried to find a pattern in that and I could not find a pattern in that. So um, if you know of somebody else that has found a way to predict earthquakes, let me know <laughs> because I, I, don't, I don't do that. I never have done that. The fact that I predicted the axis shift in 2011 on, to the exact day that ha actually had nothing to do with er earthquake science. So that had to do with the visions. I, I mean, I it's bizarre, you guys. I don't I don't know how why this earthquake happened during our watch period. Like I said, I don't do that. I'm not into that stuff. So it just it just happens to be something that, for whatever reason, it seems to be tying into all this other research that I've been doing so um I don't know it's kind of kind of um bizarre so I guess I'll just leave you guys with that if you want to look into it more um there's some information for you to get started so um I gotta go I'm running out of time I hope you guys are doing okay and I will talk to you later okay bye-bye